Hi again, Face Freaks. I'm so excited to talk to you today about a duo from a great American company. Let's get into it. A couple of years ago, and way before I gave a crap about the quality of my skin, I got a sample tube of moisturizer I'd never heard of. I was mainly happy to have a mini moisturizer for my travel makeup bag. I used most of it without giving it much thought. Fast forward to this year, I started looking at the ingredients on all of my skincare products and I was surprised at how much garbage was in them. I stumbled across this little tube shoved in the bottom of a caboodles cube and wondered, what is that? Bayberry Naturals Rosehip and Hibiscus Moisturizer, that's what. I turned over the tube, expecting it like tons of travel sized products to have zero information about its ingredients on the back. Bam! Every ingredient was listed and clearly tiny but easy to read. I was impressed by this list. It didn't have any mineral oil derivatives. It didn't have shea butter, which I was trying to avoid because I thought I was acne prone. No simple alcohols or other drying stripping agents. I shook up the tube when I tried it that night and I was impressed. I'd been using a Mary Kay product that didn't have the best ingredient list, but it always felt lightweight. And that was my second most important priority in finding a new moisturizer. It couldn't be heavy because I get oily and feel gross when I have a thick moisturizer on. I hopped onto their website, quickly found it and added it to my cart. It was a fairly good sized 4.6 ounce bottle for 18 bucks. But and I know you're all in the same boat as me. Amazon Prime has done an incredible job telling me I should get products quickly with no shipping fee. So when I realized that the shipping was $6.45, I wondered, was there anything else I could buy that would help disperse that extra cost? At the heart of it, I'm a huge cheapskate face freaks. So I dug a little bit and settled on a cleanser because that was another gap in my skincare routine at the time. I wanted to try something completely different from the Luscious Balm I reviewed in my first video here. Bayberry's Soothing Milk Facial Cleanser is the same price and size. There aren't any reviews on Bayberry's website, so I read the ingredients, which are great by the way, took a risk and ordered them both. A week later, I had them in my hands. Both items are at best shaken before dispensing as they have a tendency to separate a bit. Shaking them also fluffs them up a little bit and makes application easier. The cleanser has a faint but almost sour smell from the lactose, which is going to help soften and moisturize your skin. The moisturizer is very creamy, yet impossibly it's also thin enough to melt into your skin quickly. It's odorless, which is nice. Instead of a fragrance, it relies on its great texture and softness to make you come back for more. The face wash is a little bit more troublesome. The container really isn't great for the thin, runny liquid. Pretty straight here. Either it needs to be thicker, closer to the viscosity of the moisturizer, or it needs to come in a pump bottle, because I hate trying to close the bottle while it's upside down on my palm and having it splash everywhere. It's obviously not the end of the world, but it is annoying. Just for you face freaks, I finally bought a cheap travel pump bottle and gave it a try. Did it work better? It totally does! I'm a little irritated with myself for wasting so much time being annoyed with a bottle before because this pump works perfectly at 50 cents. I also tested one more aspect of the cleanser that suddenly occurred to me would be helpful for you to know. I've been using this as a morning cleanser or a second cleanser in the evenings because I assumed the lactose might be irritating to my eyes, but I decided to put it to the test. One night I used it as a first cleanse to remove makeup and regular mascara. It did a really great job. And last night, I used it as a first cleanser to re remove makeup and waterproof mascara. Both times, I was really surprised at how gentle it was. It didn't sting my eyes. When I went in with a good second balm cleanser to see if any more waterproof mascara had been left on my eyes, there was definitely a little bit that Bayberry had left behind. So if you use it to remove makeup, be aware that you need to test it with your favorite products to see what works best. But in my book, this can definitely get the job done. Would I repurchase these? Heck yes! I love that I'm buying from a thoughtful, American, woman-owned company. I love both these products. 
Feel free to read more in-depth reviews of both of them on my website here. How many droppers do I rate these? Four and a half for the moisturizer. It's hard to imagine not having this lotion on my counter. I'm a whore for variety, and I thrill at trying new things, but I still haven't felt a need to try any other lotions. This one is just that good. I rate the cleanser three and a half droppers because of the inelegant container. The product itself does a tremendous job cleansing without stripping skin, and it leaves behind a little bit of soft oil, which is similar to that nice feeling you get from a cleansing with a balm. Well, that's it, face freaks. Thank you for joining me today to learn a little bit more about these two Bayberry Naturals products. If you like them too, please comment below. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe for future content. As always, I'm just a mom who's passionate about skincare. You rock your life.